Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We're coming in to do what is one of my most favorite things I've been looking forward to, but we've never done before. What the heck does that mean, Scott? I don't know. It means we're doing the Dark Cove Committee release, which is hard to get, with the regular Dark Cove, which is hard easier. to get. Still hard to get, Let's but test slightly it. Just, ah! Scott, we're in. Before we even pour, let's talk about 275, 276. I don't know. You got to flip yours around. Got? 277 and 278. Woo! Those that don't know, you can go buy coins and uh, you can't really pick the show that it's on, but you'll get one that's almost. Maybe. Most of the time, we're, can't we're using more coins. We're trying to get more coins out there from shows. People wanted right. the coins from the show, so that's what we're doing. So you buy a coin, one shows up, and it says 275 on it, then you can go yep. see, oh, that was on the committee release yep. show. Cool. Go to our brand new website, scotchtestgummies.com. Yes. It was pointed out to us that we were big time now and we needed a big time website. Time is big. We were small time. We had a small time we're website. Small, so a couple new things with the new one, blog posts. Uh, there's a calendar on there. You can sync with your calendar and you'll get reminders when shows are coming up and what they are. And so you can actually go buy the dram that we're going to be reviewing. If, if we remember to get it added into the calendar. If we remember. So um, we're going to have our sc scotch scores will be posted on there. True. Bingo. I got to do that. No. They're on there. Oh, are they all up to date though? Yeah. Well, we probably have a couple. We have See, to I gotta, them. I gotta update them. That's so, gonna be my job. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that made me lose my train of thought right there. What, uh, what's next with the website? It there's, flows there's easier on. It's, it's cast, built better for mobile un, devices. Unfiltered cast strength Our, videos uh, will show up there on every once in a while. Full strength, unchill, unchill filtered videos, unedited. There, there was a video that I cut. 10 minutes of rambling out of not rambling some people wanted it video gold we put it we'll put those on the we so we put the edited version out on on youtube we will put the unedited version up on the website you can go there and right. check it out we'll also do just some single bottle reviews or or samples sing or like maybe you sit down on a thursday night with a sample of something somebody sent you and you might Beef, do a quick video you've sent me some rum samples yeah we're not going to do those on the show yeah maybe you do put do a quick video Bam. or at least a blog post on them and we'll put Boom. those up on the website so right that's a few things with the new website now the other thing i want to say real quick that we're going to talk about a little bit later in the show is get ready because this show is getting pretty close to what we're calling our 12 hour live set mm-hmm we're going to do 12, 12 hour marathon shows, 12, 12 hour live marathon, streams, 12 live streams, Saturday, July 8th, hours, July 8th, 2017. Right. We're basically doing 45 minutes, 15 minute break to travel safely. Sometimes. And reasonably. There's, yeah, there's only right. one travel. In there's there, only so. one travel and 15 minutes to just like, I don't know, get a massage. And that will go from uh, 12 <laughs> or noon central to midnight. Central July 8th. It's a Saturday. Set your date. We're going to have multiple guests on. We're going to maybe even have some call-ins. Ooh, some fans involved. Enough said. We'll talk later. Maybe. Scotch God shout out. Scotch God shout out. Do I'm it. keeping you on track. Do it. Okay. Not necessarily from a comment this time. We've got a shout out to uh, some Twitter peeps. And a club. Whiskey club. At Smoke and Dirt. Smoke and Dirt. Yes. At Smoke and Dirt, are Victoria, British Columbia. They right. are a, a, a whiskey club, yeah. a tasting club. Smoke and Dirt. They don't take themselves seriously. With a name like that, not surprised. But jackets are required. Wow! So if you get it's a Smoke and said, Dirt club, said tongue in cheek. Oh, really? So you could like, and could you wear but, a speedo and then have a jacket? Do I think so? Yeah. I want to see it, so. a picture of the club wearing jackets and, and speedos. Well, the fact is, I did a little exchange. They got a coin. I got one of their lapel pins. Smoke and Dirt Whiskey oh, Club. That is cool. They got a Glen Karen with something that looks like amber, orange juice. No, not orange juice. That looks like you know Whiskey. what that looks like. The Macallan, because mm -hmm. it looks Could be. flavorful and it looks like it's amber. But check out Smoke and Dirt on Twitter. Do you want to see them in jackets and speedos? I want to see it. Yeah, I'd say shorts. You don't want a I banana don't want to hammock. I don't see speedos. But <laughs> shorts. Maybe the guy with the beard 
You the, want to see him in a speedo? The hairy Jesus. <laughs> Maybe we could have him. <laughs> now hold on. That. The whole club now is going to call him Harry Jesus. <laughs> That's his new nickname. Whoever that is, who looks like a friendly lad, yeah. his new nickname for Smoke and Dirt is well, Harry Jesus. So there's two guys with beards. Now, oh, the one on the left you're is talking more like... about the wild man. Yeah, the one on the left is he's more like raw slick. whiskey in the six. Yeah, he looks... Well-trimmed. Yeah. Cut more, hair. Yeah, he's like a TV Harry, professional. Harry Jesus over here. <laughs> no, no, Harry Jesus. Hair's back. Jesus rolls. Yeah. Unkept he's a, beard. He's an artist. Let's see him in a Speedo. He's an artist. That man creates art. That's what I'm saying. All right. Yeah. yeah. So right now we've just added to the club. Let's, By the way, if you're if you've got a whiskey club, send us a little blip. You may make it on there. We love whiskey clubs. Yep. Love them. Okay. So what I'm happened? Excited. Walt Einhorn. Yeah. Originally sent Great us name, samples. By the way. Einhorn. Uh, tr known as Triple Cap on mm. YouTube. He had sent us samples, or he arranged for us to get samples, as we say. First of live show. Beg, of the Ardbeg Dark Cove Very committee release. Very first live show ever, wasn't it? Yes. Blown away. Go watch that. Don't remember the number, but it's the first live show. And I was, I was blown away live with the Dark Cove committee release. So this is the annual release. Um, Ardbeg does on Ardbeg Day. Right. Currently, this one they got is, the Kelpie out. Is a sherry based, um, mm. heavily peated scotch. This so, is beautiful. Um, Walt also sent us samples now of the regular Dark Cove, not committee release. Right. Because I had mentioned this is so good. I went out and got one. You went out and got mm -hmm. one. We both did. Right. And then. I wanted to know though, if you could only get the non-committee release, are you missing out? Is it is it well, so much better with the committee release, which is a higher ABV? How how different are they? And we've had a lot of people ask us, what's the difference? We yeah, don't know. We're we gonna find know. out. We're we gonna find out right yet. now. Now, if you notice what I did do, we both got these are hold big. On, hold on. Smells like a peat extravaganza going on. Yes, in here. I can smell it as I was pouring. Oh, I'm excited. Sorry. So anyway, we did get healthy um, sample bottles from Walt on the regular dark. You say coat. healthy, I say fat. Yes. Kind of. If you noticed, I poured from mine. I let Bart pour from his. Bart has a habit of just using my sample bottle. Anytime possible. <laughs> That's not. I'm gonna set this over. Whenever here. possible. Drink from Scott's allotment. <laughs> That's like a rule. That could be a shirt. Now, do you remember which one's which? Yeah. The Dark Cove is closer to me committee release. The committee release, I should say, is closer to my heart. That's what I'm going to say. And actually, the committee release looks a little darker. Oh, that's Okay, good. so uh, the, the Dark Cove standard bottling is 46.5%. Maybe a little darker. Yeah. Which is this one. Right. So the standard one. The standard, 46.5%. 46.5%. The Dark Still Cove high. committee release. Right. 55%. Much higher by nine points. Nine percentage points. Yep. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Let's be exact because someone's going to go, Bart's dumb. Can't do math. Woo, so wow. Yes. So okay. Which one are you on? They're just the the one we haven't done, the regular. The regular. I figured okay. I'd start with the lighter one. God. That's still got a great name. Still nose, smells delicious. I get sea, I want to say sea bog. I don't know what sea bog is, but a, a sea moss. I, per, I, per, I, I picture a sea bog is like where the tide's going out and some of the seawater is getting stuck behind. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm probably wrong. Like a glen. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's, I mean, just a that nice sweetness. like an sweetness. Easter egg for longtime watchers, a glen. A nice sweetness. God almighty, yes. And I still have a hard time telling you a sherry. If you've got something that's heavily peated, peated, sometimes once I get in there, I may get a slight hint on the nose of the sherry. I'm, I might get it on the palate. The peat's going to, going to powerfully but, make itself known. I'm I not going to say overpower. Sometimes, yes. There, I mean, there is a, uh, I mean, a definite sweetness accompanying this peat, though. I mean, a, a, a sugar sweetness and a fruit. Is you're, it sherry? You're doing good, because all I want to say is God Almighty. <laughs> That's all I want to say. Saltiness. You're right. There's a brine. There's an earthy peatness. Mm. 
and wrapped around and coiled in between. And I want to taste is it. Is a sweetness. Yes, my mouth is watering. I'm still. I'm, I'm watering. Still nosing. A little bit of medicinalness. Maybe a little bit of like um, when you strike a match, some of that uh, sulfur. But it's all wrapped in beautiful, sweet fruit, succulent mm -hmm. fruit. Granular sugar. Uh, I'm not kidding. My mouth's watering, and this yeah. is the non-committee release. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding. Oh, ooh, mm. taste it. Gotta go in and do that. <laughs> This is, I could nose this for an hour. Wow. Is the Dark Cove non-committee release worth it? Yes. That is delicious. Mm. That is still, and that's been the main questions we've got. And I, and the Dark Cove committee release, it goes for 130 to 150. Wow. The standard Dark Cove is 100, 110. Wow. Ooh, I well, know. the problem is you can't get the committee that's, release really anywhere without paying more than that. 130 to 150. I think it's even it's higher been. now. Is it? Could be now, I suppose. I mean, it's even hard to find. If you find it, I mean, we'll tell you in a that second is, how much is different. This is beautiful. That is still delicious. The ABV <laughs> seems high. It is high. Yeah, yeah. matter of fact. Very flavorful. Ahead. Wow. The nuttiness. Yeah. The smoke. The brine is present. The sea salt. I don't want to say, I mean, a sherry sweetness. I'm not necessarily, I mean, because I know it's sherry, that sherry wow. sweetness, darkness. The mouth coating is phenomenal. All right. First thing is, is the peat, peated earth. A uh, slight, um, kind of the, and this is a good way, the medicinal peat flavor. Mm -hmm. Iodine. Iodine, that's the word I couldn't bring up. Mm -hmm. And then it and then it warms in my on my palate and it and it gets earthy. And it gets rich. And and it has a depth. Mm -hmm. and, and it's like it, that, that peat is there and it's yeah. heavy and it's full and that sweetness comes in yeah. and pushes it down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, where it's not yeah. overriding. Right. It's still there, but that sweetness is uh, equalizing it, you could say. Delicious. I am Thick. very impressed. Great mouthfeel. Because, I mean, from the get-go, I was like, man, I've got to find the committee release. I felt like the, if I didn't find the bottle of the committee release compared to the sample of the committee release, that I was going to be not capturing the beautifulness of this dram. Mm. This non-committee release is delicious, and it captures the beautifulness of the dram. I wouldn't hesitate to buy it if I saw it on the shelf. Not at all. And that's that's a topic as well. As we have not seen the Dark Cove here. We've sourced all of our... Right. A lot of times we got to go to Texas. I mean, uh, Kansas is good. I don't want to, you know, it's not poo-poo for -poo -poo well, me, but we haven't seen this on just the shelf. Just bag and we get other versions right. of Ardbeg. The Kelpie, has re I've seen the Kelpie here now. No. But I I, we never saw the dark right. cove. The here. whiskey scout and some others helped me find this. Give me a shot of water. Yeah, mm, that is good. That's, it is delicious. Ooh. That I mean, or no, I'm pointing at the bottle. The dark cove standard release is delicious. I would not hesitate to pick that up. I'm trying to do. I just wanted to do the regular release first. We've done the yeah. we've done the dark, the committee release. But I wanted to see what my impression of that that was before we moved on to the committee release. Sure. <laughs> I noticed it and just moved on to I'm the I'm just tasting. trying to see if there's any difference in the nose. Because the key here for me is how are they different if they are. I mean, I know there's going to be subtle dis differences. I was worried there was going to be drastic differences, and uh, I'm not getting a drastic after, difference. After nosing and sampling the standard release, I can't see that. I think I can pick be. up a little bit more of the alcohol. Probably. Of course, I've added water to my regular uh, release now. Right. Sea salt still on this basic one. I know the the ABV is a little bit. You got to be cautious burn, going in. Burn my nose. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more 
pepper. sweetness. Yeah, pepper and sweet is what I get on the nose just a touch, but it feels, I mean, you can definitely but, tell it's the iodine's there. It's almost more like a citrus sweetness, a, a dark citrus sweetness. I get the sea salt. Mm-hmm. Huh. And the peat, the peat is there, but it's not like your standard Ardbeg peat, your Lafroy peat that's jumping up and saying, Pete, here I am. It's right. still there. It's good. It's heavy. But that sweetness is still... These are both great. I mean, uh, the only thing I'm getting here, I feel like they're definitely the same thing. I almost literally just feel like I've brought this one down with my own water in comparison. It's It just stings you a little bit more with the ABV. All right. Woo. Mm. The Dark Cove Committee release at 55%. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, it's... No, I get a better mouth coating. It's a better... Well, yeah, probably a little bit better mouth coating. The nuttiness almost jumped out at me yes. right at the front, front end. I get much more of a much more of a nutty flavor off the committee release. Roasted almond yep. or salted almond even. Yes. Huh. Hmm. The finish is it feels about the same. I get I get the peat, the earth, the smokiness. What's distinctly different is you're right, roasted or smoked almond, <coughs> and I did not get as much of the nuttiness. I almost would tell you that the peat aficionado almost showed up more in the non-committee release for me, whereas the mm, peat and the nuttiness is more prevalent. In the committee release. Oh, the peat and the nuttiness. And the yeah. nuttiness. I, I did not call out the nuttiness, but you were spot on. I think it's um Wow. It's incremental though, the differences. It's not that. The nuttiness pronounced. is surprising though. I didn't pick up any nutty notes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> any nutty notes on the non committee release, but it is forefront at the very beginning of the tasting experience with the committee release. Now I've added I've added water water to both here. So we'll see going back. I, I, I back to the standard release dark cove. I mean it's just a little less ABV than the regular. <laughs> Boy that is strong. <laughs> Caught me. Oh, the, yep. the committee release I get a little bit more of the earth, the dark earth. Mm-hmm. Well, and the thing is, your flavor is going to be a little bit more concentrated just because of the ABV. They've added water to bring it down to 46%. Wow. Whiskey Scout, yep. look for a bottle of Dark Cove non-committee release. I want it. <laughs> I've got a, there's a Whiskey Scout out there. That, yeah, I mean, these are, um, the, the, the Dark Cove non-committee release is delicious oh, in its own. Yeah. Um... The, the the usual differences that you would expect in almost a you know eight nine percent ABV difference in just the concentration of flavors. I, I think that's it. Still delicious. I I would. That if, is if the only option I had was the non-committee release oh, Hardbeg oh. Dark Cove, I'd buy it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to bring it down. That the non-committee release Dark Cove. Keep doing this back. Delicious. Delicious. Wow. Oops, I wanted to do that in here. Huh. The biggest takeaway on this for me, well, two. One, non-committee release, get it. If you like peat, get it. The nutty forward flavor on the committee release, I do not pick up as much of. Uh, or, or at all with the non-committee release. Mm. Those, uh, yeah, they're both good. Oh. Um, I am surprised though. I thought I thought maybe they would be exactly the same, but the non-committee release would feel a little more watered down. It doesn't feel watered down at all, but it has a subtle difference. 
Well, I, I wouldn't say it's, it feels watered down. No, uh, to me, no, it's, no, just, no. it's the subtle differences that you just would expect in that 8 9% difference in the ABV. I'm just surprised with the nutty forwardness. You're right, smoked almond was a very apt description. And I, but I want the non, sorry, I want the non-committee release as well. Mmm, mmm, I love both of these. Jeez, make more of this. <laughs> wow, wow. This is my like, wow, this competes. You know, I've, I mentioned that the Port Charlotte from Brook Lottie's probably taken over my number one scotch with the Froig tin cast strength being right in there as well. But this as a kind of a one-off is, is unbelievably delicious. If you are a fan of the peat, this is a must grab. You must get this. You can get either one. I almost well, think. I would, uh, I would say if you're a fan of the peat, I don't know if, it's a, if you're a fan of peat and sherry, you might have some 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 peat fans that don't like sherry mm -mm. that would be that might not like this. I'm going to disagree with you <laughs> strongly. This sherry is so subtle here; mm -mm. it adds a bit of the no, I don't think it is the sweetness. It it sweetens it up, but it's a it's a peat sweetness that is just unbelievably good well we're, we're different but i mean yeah. i'm just saying this is just wonderful i'm I mean, telling you I'm, you, might, you might have some peat fans that don't want their peat messed with they want peat and that's it don't no special castings and one thing i didn't point out though either is that this has been ex-bourbon casks and sherry casks oh god so if you like the peat this i mean it's peat forward and then there's little little touches of of genius layered in. Unbelievably good. What do we have for um, well we're okay we're not again, gonna do a normal is it worth it and all this. Do you know what I no, mean, it's, a, it's worth flavor? it. Yeah, it's worth I talked it. about it's it. It's worth it. Right. Hundred bucks, it's worth it. Yeah. Dark Cove committee release, 130, 150, it's worth, worth it. Worth it. They're both worth it. Um our traveling dummy section or segment this week mm -hmm. sponsored by us hashtag traveling dummies yes traveling dummies um and and i hate i kind of hate to do it i should have found out again I've, i saved the pictures that come in right and this was either email or twitter in right. in buenos aires buenos aires at uh the big monument tower right but we're putting the picture and you'll see it Yes. And I'm going to have to find, I, and I'm saving the pictures. I should be saving the names as well. I didn't. I apologize. We'll insert the name as well. Who sent this? Whenever to possible, too, when you do a traveling dummies picture with either a glass, a coin, or a shirt, um, hashtag it. Makes it a lot easier for us. Well, if they're sending it on, if, if you're putting it on Twitter or Instagram, we you can, some of these have been coming in. Anywhere. in email. email. Right. Email, obviously, but, but, but uh, put it out on Twitter. Yeah. So. Uh, the dummies have been to Buenos Aires. Yes, Buenos Aires. It's way down. My wife saw this picture. She's Puerto Rican. She knew exactly. She hasn't been there, but she knew exactly where it was. And uh, she said, uh, uh, it's way south. But Buenos Aires is Argentina, right? Yes. And she said, I mean, I know Argentina is at the southern tip of South America anyway. So, hmm. Hmm. She was, again, amazed, though. She's like... She kept saying that is so cool <laughs> that they that these folks around the world are taking these photos. I go, I know, I know. I feel like a little piece of us goes there with them. God almighty, oh I love this. Mm. I've been wanting to do this for a long, long time. <clears throat> Who again helped us out with the samples? Triple Cat. Thank you, Triple Cat. Walt Einhorn. Walt, you're the man. Einhorn. That's a powerful name. <laughs> Mm. Mm -mm. I was looking real quick. I thought I'd be able to find out who it was. But I just I noticed I you've got me in your email as Barto. I just as my contact. Yeah, and then your email is up underneath it. I like it. I like it. He'll he'll say Barto, and I go Bruno. If you're ever around us in person, that's what you're gonna hear. Just throwing that out there. Whoo! I 
love what Ardbeg's doing. You know what was kind of funny? A little while ago we did a Lafroig thing and it was it actually released on Ardbeg Day. We did the Lafroig lore. And, it, and um, we released the lore on Ardbeg Day. Art, yeah. Not intentional. Because <laughs> some people are like, you know, you released the lore Lafroig on Ardbeg Day. I'm like, I'm sorry. I didn't, we did didn't not realize it. Ardbeg Day was coming up. We did. And when we film in succession, um, we, we record the order, but we. I, honestly, in my mind, I don't automatically know the date that it's going to air. I mean, we just know the order, and then we have our own little, like, schedule that we look at. Anything else you want to throw out? Oh, uh, check out uh, scotchtestdummies.com. The website's up and running. There's some cool little things on there. If you kind of explore a little bit, you'll find some, uh, you'll, you'll find a list of all our scores that we've given for everything that we've sampled. Mm -hmm. Um, our, we've got uh, some photos. It auto populates our YouTube playlist. So as we add a video on on YouTube, it automatically uploads on right. the website uh, playlist. There's a we've shop. We've got the on Google there. Calendar. You can go sync your calendar that is with cool. uh, our blog posts. Mm -hmm. um, it works better on mobile devices. So uh, well, it works on all devices. Our old website didn't work too well on mobile. No. Right, this one is optimized to work on all devices yeah. well. The old the old website was well. You got to if you want that, you got to pay us more money. Yeah, it was all. Oh, you want to upgrade that? You got to pay more money. Right. This one, not so. You know what? You can watch the dummies and not pay anything. Free. That's right. Boom. Now, if you want to buy some merch, you can go to the website. Anything else you want to add in other than I'm in Nirvana? Yeah. <laughs> I love this. And yep. I was a little surprised. I wasn't sure what to expect. You're not let down at all. Hey, uh, I need to top off a little bit. Let me see your bottle. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.